What is going on, you guys? Happy October. Here we are post Rota or going into Rota, and we are ready to bring more Yu Gi Oh content to you guys. So let us sneak on in. So, for today's local series, we are jumping into spooky season and we are wanting to get away from the norm of playing tier or any of these other competitive decks that we have been playing and attempting to do. We're just going to kick back, let the spookiness overtake, and we are going to enter into the dark world. Maybe we might stow upon a dungeon or two. Maybe, maybe we'll end up in the, an alliance of the past. But for now, we're going to enter into the gates of the dark world and play dark world. So I've had to ask for help for this deck. And a lot of the inspiration that I got for this deck comes from a friend. So big shout outs to him and helping me build this deck. I wish I had more time to actually have practiced it. So we're going to be doing as he does, learn on the fly, and just improv our way to hopefully see if we can get some wins. So Dark World plays really interestingly, interestingly into this format now. Uh, seeing that there are more hand traps, uh, I have yet to have seen Droll at my locals particularly. So we're going to hopefully ski past that and not see Droll tonight. We have seen a lot of Shifter though. So Shifter is going to be our worst friend. I don't care about any of the other hand traps. We're just going to improv it as we go. So without further ado, let me show you the deck profile that we're working with. And hopefully we can ski some wins, maybe even top too. So let's show you the profile. All right, let's kick things off with showing you the profile that we are going to be attempting to play with for today. So to start off, we are playing three copies of Rainbow over King of Dark World. We are playing two copies of Grapha Dragon Lord of Dark World, two copies of Silva, three copies of Genta, who's gonna be our, our main key that we wanna see, three copies of Snow, one Beige, one Cerulean. So I think this is, this is good for Dark World. Uh, the one card that is missing is the normal rainbow for Chlorless, which I also don't have Chlorless, so we're not gonna be playing Chlorless. Um, but that, that's, that's a good engine size that you want to see of Dark World, just being able to discard these as much as you can um, with the support cards that we do have for discarding. Um, we do then follow up with three copies of Gates, because Gates is what we want to see. It's, it's a must play. And then we are playing one copy of Dark Corridor, one copy of Dark World Session, one copy of Dark World Archives, and one card, one copy of Dark World Puppetry. So puppetry is definitely not mandatory to play. I'm playing it just so that way I can um, remove cards from my opponent's graveyard, uh, especially like playing into the Ubel Fiendsmith, um, that matchup in particular. Against Tempai, it might come up as long as they don't shift through, which if they shift through, then we kind of hardcore lose anyways. Um, but yeah, there's that. And then we play with Dangers, so we are playing two copies of Danger Bigfoot, three copies of Danger Nessie, one Thunderbird, three copies of Danger Mothman, one Choop, and one Jackalope. So a Such would also be really nice, but I have no idea where a Suchinoko is, so we're just going to live without it. But some of the, the last following cards I think are really key and critical, so we'll just leave the Dangers up for a bit, because it's Zephyros and Zalamander. Uh, Zephyros being able to bounce a card to special it so we can bounce back our gate. Um, go ahead, activate gate again, and then use gate's effect. Catalyzer, just being able to discard is really key, really helps push the deck forward. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And then we follow up with five closing spells. We're playing three copies of Allure of Darkness, just so we can draw, one copy of Tactics, and one copy of Card Destruction. Since it says discard, <laughs> so we're able to prox off the effects of all of our Dark World cards. Moving on to the extra deck, we are playing two copies of Grapha Dragon Overlord of Dark World. I don't know how many copies we'll make today, but we're going to just stick with the two. We are playing one copy of Dugaris, one Dweller, one Baguska for those rank four plays if we get kind of shut down, we can just go into the uh, Baguska Pass, Dweller to shut down the graveyard if we see that. Um, 
Then we play one Hope Harbinger and one Coach King Giant Trainer. Uh, this one's going to be really good, just being able to help us burn in time and as well um, draw so we could get more effects going. Last, we play some Lynx. We're playing one Cotton Muckraker, one Security Dragon, one Acacia Magician, one Nightmare Phoenix, one Nightmare Unicorn, one Nightmare Griffin, one Zealantis, and one Saryuja. So, this is going to be very interesting to see me trying to figure out how to play this on the fly. Um, I definitely know Muckraker is going to be our key extra deck along with the Nightmare Griffin. Being able to get into those and have Nightmare Griffin co-linked with Muckraker and pointing to Grapha. That's kind of the end board that we ideally want. Um, Zealantis is really here to kind of get us um, unco-linked because typically we don't have this in the extra monster zone. At least from like combo lines I've I've seen and I might be seeing wrong ones um, but we're again just learning this on the fly so we're gonna see how well we can really play it moving to the side so I sided for my locals I didn't necessarily side for the deck itself so we are playing one copy of lava golem with two copies of radian um, Radium being a dark and a fiend, and Lava Golem being a fiend really helps the deck out. It's unfortunate it's not a dark, but we can live without that uh, fact. Um, these are just kind of kaijus to just help us out some of our opponent's stuff, and since we don't normal summon, um, we're okay losing a normal summon, which I know neither give up our normal summon, but... Or sorry, Lava Golem does give up our normal summon, but anyhow, we, we're not too worried about giving up our normal summon. Uh, next, we play some board breakers, so just three copies of Raigeki, three copies of Dark Hole, three copies of Dark Hole No More, and then three copies of Evenly Matched. Because we just, just need to play board breakers, especially when we go second. Um, if we win the die roll, great for us. If we lose a die roll, then we're going to be trying to improv, um, especially in that game one, trying to see how well we can break our, bo our opponent's board. Um, game two three though this is probably where we'll see most of our side maybe game two if we win the die roll and we're able to like actually do stuff but we'll see we'll see i'm kind of interested to see how we can start off our spooky season with this um i would have loved to have started it out with mini ghoul but we are still missing some cards so let's enter into the dark world see how well we can do here we are you guys at our locals in the spookiness also huge shout out to the new My Hero movie, great movie. Anyways, back to the, our games. So, <laughs> round one, we play against Purely. Little, little scared playing against Purely since I play a crap ton of hand traps. Thankfully, no Droll or Shifter, because I know some Purely decks can play Shifter. Um, this one was a bit interesting. He was playing a little bit of a Ghost Trick package in Purely, so he can get F Zero with Big Cat. But we did not care. So we went first, we were able to rip apart his hand of hand traps, we were able to play through it all, Baguska pass. He couldn't play through Baguska, it was great. We flipped Baguska back, we drew in a talent, so I was like, all right, let's bait. We had like a lure and some other stuff we were able to use. We took his F-Zero, we linked it off, and we just had enough gas for game. Game two, he went first, he set up F-Zero again, uh, but he didn't go into Big Cat, which I thought was a little odd. Um, but didn't, didn't matter, didn't matter. We just cracked his board, stole his F-Zero again. <laughs> and, and we just put up enough damage for game. I, I feared Nib, he had he had a couple hand traps though. So I mean like, they didn't do much, but he had them. Um, I feared Nib, but we were able to get the Overlord. So I mean, we were chilling anyhow, but we went battle and we were able to swing in for game. So 1-0 right now, pretty good. Honestly, seeing tactics, which is a one of, mind you, has been great has been great seeing that card was so clutch in a lot of my matches so or a lot of or both games so we're chill one oh we'll see where the next three rounds go because we've got four rounds tonight so we'll see what happens so funny there's dark world structure deck we're we'll playing that tonight so my round two we play against azamina snake eye fiendsmith uh game when we open up first we <laughs> threw like pretty much our entire deck it didn't matter we couldn't get the nightmare griffin i i don't know where i messed up but i know i messed up in the combo and i feel foolish because i don't know where but yeah i effed up somewhere <laughs> we did end with the graph of dragon overlord though 
Um, so my opponent takes it in game one. Game two, we make him go first because we sat in all the board breakers and didn't see a single one. Didn't see a single one. So I ended up losing. I was going to try and break, th break through the board, but eh, whatever. So we're 1-1 one, one right now. We still got two more rounds. Um, seeing a lot of interesting players tonight, so we'll see what the rest of the night looks like. Yeah. Round three, because I don't think we recorded for round three. Uh, round three, we play against... What did we play against? Uh, Metal Zoa. The new, the new Metal Zoa cards. Um, so I forgot my glasses, so I don't have like recordings for the matches, but uh, we go first, game one. We, were, we had the chance to do this really loop, but playing against... Um, this, I really didn't want to. So we just set up a, a good board that had Graphos, um, just a lot of interrupts for him. Uh, we had Puppetry as well. Uh, we had Grapho to pop. So I mean, we were, we were chilling. chilling. Uh, so we took game one, game two. Uh, he burned me because I, I let an effect go through, learned, could have read the card, but I just wanted to see how it goes. So didn't care. And game three, yeah, we, just full combo again. Couldn't break the board, so we take the dub. Round four, we play against Tempai. I was really hoping to see it play against this match. So game one, we go first. Man, I wish I had the glasses for this because I freaking hand ripped him for everything. He drew, we had Grapho to negate it. We did not care. And we had the cert, the Nightmare uh, Griffin, the link four. So we were chill and he couldn't do Jack. Game two, uh, I, I was like, yeah, we can break it. We can break his board. He goes Seals Pass. Summons out the Quacky Marrow. I was like, damn. So thankfully we had uh, Catalyzer, so we were able to swing over. Um, but whatever. Uh, game three, we go first. We like set up our board. Right? I think so. Yeah. We were we were comboing, 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 comboing. We had the Griffin, we had, we had it all again. I called him on time because he was he was definitely stalling because he could not like if he had Chandra we were just going to gate it anyways since we had the Griffin lock with the uh, Overlord so we were we were good and then we just came back to me battle we swung over because we he dog wooed me so we just had to quickly just go battle just summon big boys go battle we knocked him down we went main two before time was called burn him for an extra what was it twenty four hundred put him down to nine hundred life points while we still had eight so. We take the win and top with third, and we pull the Dominus Impulse. So we definitely made our money back on this. So we're chilling. I like playing Dark World, and this is a great way to start off our spooky season, topping with Dark World. So that's it, everyone. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think of Dark World, and pass it over to you.